Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully installed Laravel default authentication system and here right now for the default authentication system I am using Laravel chat stream, right? So how can you install it? I think every process is very much clear to you. So right now we don't need this. So that is perfect. So first of all I want to do and to discuss about that file structure which is very much important one of the part as I told you here in our web route so that is our authentication that means one of the middleware default middleware as a symptom and then that is a verified when it should be as a verified then it should be returned direct to the slash dashboard url and into the dashboard url it's return one of the view dashboard okay that means in our view into the view area that is actually page is now loaded so that is the page okay so this page is now visible in particular this area so if you want to remove it i show you uh, like here like right now they are using that live word so right now here I remove it okay I remove total things from to this position now if you click as a save all and now everything will be very clear to you so this part not should be visible right now click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now totally gone so whatever the things right now you will put in particular that area it will be visible if you open like here I name it as a uh, this is sorry this is home page okay or just home page so this type of one of the name I just put now click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see it's now showing as a this is just home page and that is also another one as a dashboard so this dashboard area actually comes from our same page that means this dashboard you can see that is the dashboard so here if you want to change it like I put as a high okay so if you now click as a save all so now it should be updated it now should be displayed as a high click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now perfectly visible as a high and that is another part as a dashboard part right so this part is actually comes from um, the another location so this location is that this navigation menu okay so into this navigation menu here you can see that is the dashboard so this dashboard is now visible so that is visible in particular that area okay so here that is actually the um, location and here there is a authenticated current username so if you want to visible that current username you can visible it so that is everything on here okay that means you can see there is auth username auth username if you want to visible that means which user is logging that is default one of the middleware so which user is logging if you want to display that username you can display it right now i copy it like here into the dashboard in our profile that we see in our view and there is a dashboard here i just simply paste it so which user is locking this user name will be visible so this name is means if you go to our user table that means in our user table that is actually your field name as a name right so that means right now i am locking with this user so this login authenticated user which user is locking this user this name that means user right so that will be visible okay so i show you like here i simply updated that authenticated username now click as a save all and now if you refresh it so after this high you can see after this high it's visible as a user i hope friend this file structure structure is very much clear to you right and also if you go to that profile into the there is on, on two option as a profile and there is a logout so into the profile you can see there is a profile information there is a name the email address so everything is ready made friend here if you want to change that name you can change it if you want to change that email address you can change that email address so don't worry literally we will customize everything as per our demand okay and also there is another option for the update password that means the current password new password and confirmation password because this user already they have one of the current password right right now i am already logging with the user for this user they have also one of the password so if you want to change it here you have to put that current password the new password and the confirmation password and validation is also ready made you can see there is a current password field is required so everything is ready made on here there is a two-factor authentication you can also use that two-factor authentication the browser session all the data that means everything will be visible in particular that area if you're logging with the different browser and from here if you want to log out from all that browser session you can actually manage it from one account and also there is another important part as a delete account so if you want to delete this account you can delete it so how much interactive you can see friend everything is ready made and also there is an update password so like that portion actually 
um, I show you that is also another file as I told you into the config when you install that Laravel default authentication system it's actually created two of this file into the config folder into the config folder that is a fortify okay and with the fortify by default they are using the guard as a web okay and then here here they have some of the features you can see there is some of the features as a registration they have some of the features as a reset password and there is a um, update password so like right now i don't want to use that update password so i want i just simply put it as a noted okay when you put it as a noted then it not should be visible click as a save all so right now this our this update password portion not should be visible click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now totally gone okay so you can actually manage it from here so right now it's okay with me i make it as a open i want to visible that update passwords as i told you literally we'll actually customize everything um don't worry about it click the refresh it again yeah it's now perfect visible and also there is a profile information for the profile information there is a another one like as a you name that is email address and if you want to display that profile there is also another features if you go to and that config into the config there is also another one as a jd stream into the jd stream area there is also another features you can see so that is the features so right now if you want to access that features for the api if you want to access that stream um, and the privacy policy and the profile photo so profile photo is also uh, ready made right now i just open remove that our comment so right now it should be visible click as a save all and now if you go there click as a refresh yes you can see friend now that is actually the photo option so now there is a select photo so from here you can select this photo so that is also one of the photo option and if you go to our database into the user uh, table that means into the user table that have by default one of the uh, field as a profile photo path okay so whatever the images will be uploaded it will be saved in particular that area so right now if you i want to show you like here i choose one of the photo i choose uh, like i choose this one okay i open it so after that if you click as a save now you can see if this photo is not saved successfully because of all if you uh, show you if you go there and i copy image address and now i paste it now you can see friend now actually that is our url as a local host is storage and the profile photo right and that is actually by default it's now created this name so first of all here we have to do have to change this local host right because of all right now we are using our port our server port as a, this one right so now i simply copy it so first of all i want to change that local host so that is we have to do have to change it in our dot env file now go to our project directory and that is our dot env file okay into the dot env you can see that is our app url so right now i am not using that local host i am using as a this one as a http or this port and make the sure you re remove this slash okay so that is actually our app url so now i just simply save all which is perfect okay so after that what exactly we have to do right now if you click as a refresh not this one better here i refresh it again okay i refresh it again and now i copy it i copy uh, this image that means image address and paste it again so now you can see friend now that is actually our port so that means right now that is our perfect port but i didn't create this storage link so if you want to create this storage link then they have also one of the command line i want to run it as a php artisan storage link okay so here if you want to do that work uh, like that is our project here i want to do and to run on the storage link as a php artisan and then the storage okay storage link so if you actually run it automatically it will be created on the folder into the public in our project into the public area it will be created on the storage folder okay so i show you like here if you now click as a enter now you can see the link has been created so that is our storage one of the shortcut link is now created and here you can see there is a profile photo and that is the profile photo i have updated right friend okay so here now everything should be work like right now i want to check it again i close it now refresh it yes you can see now our e profile photo is now visible so now if you copy that uh, again that address 
now paste it yes you can see that is actually our local server and then the storage i have created and there is a profile photo folder and that is our jpg that means the images okay that means everything is great so right now if you want to remove this photo you can remove it remove it you can remove it rather than if you select another new photo and then the right now i want to use uh, this one okay i open it now i want to change it let's save yeah it's now successfully updated i hope friend it's very much clear to you um how that functionality actually works so that is a profile you can manage your all that profile from here there is a logout session that is our bar so if you go to that home page that is a dashboard so that is the dashboard is now visible as a high user and also from here if you click as a logout you can simply redirect it to the logout page so that is a logging page so as i told you here we install jdstream and that is our jdstream logging page right friend and also if you want to log in with this user you can you um, put your appropriate user email address and the password and now it's visible that name as a high user so that is our single authentication right so friend for the e-commerce project as i told you we'll need that multi-authentication system that means we have to create another authentication for the admin so for the admin we have to create another table and also we have to, i want to do and to add some of the seed data so how can do that work in our next video step by step i will show you everything with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video